contactless payments, music playback, a lot of health tracking features in a good looking smartwatch with customizable bezels that comes with a lightweight operating system and doesn't cost a fortune. Is Xiaomi Watch S3 a step in the right direction? Let's inspect! Hello, oh, my dear friends and tech enthusiasts, great to meet you. I'm the Tech Mishka and Xiaomi have already revealed the new generation of the famous S smartwatch series. And just to make it clear, those models which are based on a plain number like uh, one or two in this particular case, that's based on the Google made Wear OS, while all the models which have S in their naming, like this S3, they're based on highly modified and customized distribution of RTOS, which happens to be a Linux-based distribution for such kind of wearables, and most of the vendors are customizing this a lot according to their preference for features and functions. And here, this thing is powered by the so-called by Xiaomi Hyper OS, maybe some sort of a lightweight version of the OS. Question is, are all the upgrades meaningful? And we're about to find out soon enough how good or bad the new S3 model actually is. Launched at $159, Xiaomi Watch S3 is so far famous for being gifted to you should you buy one of the Xiaomi 14 devices. You can buy it standalone as well. Looks like for some of the countries the first batches have been very quickly sold out, perhaps because of the rather attractive price. With most of the vendors increasing these prices, even the traditionally tempting Huawei GT and Amazfit GTR series, Xiaomi are trying to settle in this niche and looks promising thus far. This is gonna be a bit different type of unboxing experience here, not because there's something too different with the watch presentation itself, quite the opposite, it's rather standard. And my initial thought was that this watch looks more boring than what I recall from seeing at MWC earlier this year. The black edition with very thick bezel, a nice silicon strap, a charging dock being the same as the dock for some of the older Xiaomi watch series. The big difference are these accessories. Yeah, straps are straps and since 22mm width is among the most commonly used, you can buy them from literally anywhere. Xiaomi proposed a lot of nice colors and these here have leather texture and are original. And you can match them with bezels. Yes, there are a lot of different colors of bezels which come on top. There even is some smartness because the original ones have dedicated watch face which is being suggested as soon as you put it on. This might be fun and functional as well. Some people have different watches with different color and style for different occasions. Xiaomi let you quickly customize the appearance the way that you need and this is at the moment of making the video rather unique and surprisingly fresh. While S3 cannot replicate the premium feeling and look of certain models, you can for sure turn it into a fashion accessory matching your clothes and mood and style of living. Well played. The technological aspect inside, on the other hand, feels familiar. Two side buttons for control, a colorful touchscreen, a lot of sensors on the back, and if you care about the details, we have a large 1.43 inch AMOLED screen, a 486mAh battery providing up to 14 days endurance per charge, there's a new generation of the heart rate sensor, 5 band global positioning tracking implementation, there's NFC inbuilt for some of the regions, more than 150 tracked workout types, ability to make phone calls relayed via Bluetooth, which is by the way version 5. And you can control the watch via the Mi Fitness smartphone app. Talking about the specs, well, I don't think they are too remarkable, at least not in terms of processing power, because if we compare the SOC inside, which still remains unknown, but we for sure can say that it cannot compete in terms of performance to whatever they deploy in the Wear OS smartwatches or whatever Apple utilizes in their watch series. However, this pays off with remarkable battery life. I think the display is quite nice and maybe the most attractive feature out of all is the ability to just twist and remove the bezel and uh, exchange it for whatever you like. I think the thickness of the watch is a bit too much, but luckily it wouldn't bother you even while you're sleeping at least. It wasn't a problem for me. Now, concerning the operating system, you cannot install extra apps such as you have no option to put Google Maps or Google Pay. However, Xiaomi promised that this smartwatch supports contactless payments via their own developed payment solution. And are there any other significant software improvements or drawbacks? 
I can't wait to show you the user interface. During the initial setup, you get trained about the system navigation. It's quite nice for Xiaomi to explain about the buttons and the gestures both. There is nothing too different to their previous generations. Well, technically, if you compare it to S1 Pro, here we don't have a rotating crown, which I kind of missed in certain situations. But the two buttons are very functional and do a fairly decent job. To me, the big deal about S3 is the interface responsiveness not a single glitch. And besides the remarkable smoothness, the menus and the tiles are so beautifully designed. You can again switch between the grid and icon view for apps arrangement. You can once again customize these beautiful main cards and they are perfectly interactive. It is all so well crafted, even with the look of the notifications, that I keep on asking myself what is preventing Xiaomi to enable quick responses? It just doesn't resonate with the overall superb software experience thus far. And since Xiaomi makes some bold statements about the sensors, I had to of course test this. Heart rate data is very, very good indeed. You can monitor your pulse 24-7. Well, in most cases, if you leave the auto mode, it is going to capture this at increments of several minutes and you can have a very detailed stats about your daily records. But oxygen saturation and stress are also well trackable. Now, the sleep tracking by default is set to basic mode and it can show the ratio between light sleep and deep sleep. Go to advanced monitoring and it's going to show you REM and a lot more information on top. Since I often need a good sleep tracking device, I think highly of this feature with S3 and it seems to be the best that has ever been implemented on a Mi device thus far. The workout modes are also a spot on. Some of them involve coach assistance. It's a feature that some brands are going to charge you extra about. Show me highlight the ski courses in particular, but I can't say anything about their effectiveness because I'm not a skier myself. What I could show you though are some details from other types of workouts. They can involve GPS signal, because there's a 5-band implementation and besides GPS, the chip inside can communicate with Beidou, GLONASS, Galileo and QZSS. The watch locks the signal very quickly and precision levels are high. An additional advantage of the global version is the ability to link it with some of the popular third-party sports services such as Strava. Note that the Chinese version of the watch is unable to report to it. Speaking of Strava, something that someone recently brought my attention to, if you ride an e-bike, there is no dedicated e-bike workout mode in the watch, which is going to report your e-bike results as regular in Strava, and this could irritate some people. Weirdly, in the list you can find activities such as e-sports, so I hope that Xiaomi is going to add e-biking with some of the future updates. If you track workouts more often, this will for sure impact the battery life, but it remains really good no matter what. And even with the always on-screen mode, S3 may last up to a week. Without AOD, these 14-day cycles promised by Xiaomi between charges are quite realistic. The smartphone app letting you visualize all the captured data is called Mi Fitness. Simple yet powerful, colorful, also beautifully designed. The homepage shows so many details about the collected data. You can review your heart rate. For the spikes, you can even enable notifications. The sleep records are also fun to check. Some extra recommendations and tips and tricks to be seen as well. You can visualize workouts and if GPS has been involved, you're also going to be able to review the route, the pace and some extra data. And of course, there are a whole lot of customization features. You can adapt the health tracking modes, the display settings, auto workout detection, the watch faces. By the way, the watch face selection is quite impressive. From the remaining unique features, I certainly should point to the ability to make contactless payments. Once again, MasterCards are only supported and this is not Google Pay. If you need to add a Visa card, you may use a service like Curve, which even has a free plan and payments work flawlessly. So overall, the watch is a pleasure to use and very consistent, but I feel that there also are certain areas that could be improved. On the hardware side, I'd love to see a model with wireless charging. 
a version with LTE support, an addition of a rotating crown, as for the software, I only missed the actionable notifications. So, what is it that people want from a smartwatch? Maybe nice looking design and good functionality and long lasting battery and inbuilt GPS, ability to track workouts, to handle some daily tasks, maybe respond to notifications or install some extra apps. Well, the last two are unfortunately missing with the S3, but given the price tag and given the excellent performance, the reliability, the super smooth operating system behavior, I would say the Xiaomi S3 is very easy to recommend as a wearable device. If you got it for free with your Xiaomi 14 or 14 Ultra purchase, give it a try because I really feel it's a really good model. If you're about to buy it, then you can check the video description for the best possible deal I managed to squeeze for you. And in case you have questions or you want to tell about your opinion in particular, then the comment section below the video is the right place to do it. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I'm the Tech Mishka. Can't wait to see you in the next episode. So subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.